Good morning, everyone. Today is a super, super exciting day. Maybe not for all of us, but for me, my sourdough is finally ready to bake. I started my starter for the bread 12 days ago, and I was kind of losing hope around day seven when people were like, oh, you're supposed to start seeing bubbles. It's supposed to double in size. And I was freaking out a little bit that I was wasting bread flour, making the sourdough starter and feeding it twice a day. But guess what? Yesterday, I started my loaf and it has been setting out to rise um, for 24 hours now. So when we get home from our errands and dropping Stella off at school, we can finally bake sourdough bread. And I'm so excited. And nobody asked because I haven't even posted the video that was before this yet, but my date went really well. We actually had a second day the day after and went out to brunch and that went really well. And he wants to see me again this week. He asked to see me on Valentine's day and I was like, dude, children. So that's your update about that. I do have the full videos on Patreon, but for now we're gonna take Stella to school and then go to Publix. Okay, so moment of truth. First, let's pull out the starter, which doubles every day now. And then this is the sourdough that's been sitting for 24 hours. It's gotten a little deflated now, but it should still be good. Okay, so the top kind of dried out, but look at all like the cells and stuff that came from the sourdough starter. That's so cool. I might just peel this top part off. Okay, so I think it's important to share my fails as well as my successes in this bread baking journey. And I think I can say that this one is probably a fail. It is way too wet. I floured my hands and everything. By now, this is supposed to be like a workable dough. Like I put this on the parchment paper to shape it into like the final, um, like, you know, sphere that's gonna be baked in the Dutch oven, which is preheating right now. And like, I will say it smells like sourdough, it's bubbling, it has lots of cells, it's just practically liquid. And I didn't even follow like a heavy liquid density um, recipe. So this is nothing like the recipe that I was looking at, it's the final outcome for what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> um, I feel like since I got this far, I might throw it in the oven anyway just because like it's looked so good up until this point i don't really know where i went went wrong but like maybe my starter wasn't ready i did all the stretch and folds yesterday i let it proof and now i'm just kind of like this is not bread this is batter okay ignore the giant mess behind me i just decided to start a new dough since it takes 24 hours to rise now so that way i can try again tomorrow so so far so good i mixed this one by hand instead of using stand mixer. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but I decided to just try new things until I get it right. So, so far, like this dough is good. Looks the same it did yesterday. In my defense, my dough looked perfect last night. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like right before I went to bed. It was huge. It was bubbly. It looked perfect. I'm wondering if I made a mistake putting a damp microfiber cloth over the top of it instead of a tea towel because I didn't have any clean ones of these. I think maybe like it dried out and then like dried out my dough and then it just became like a weird doughy batter stuff. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. So we have another attempt at this that I'll try tomorrow. That's the oven for me to take the Dutch oven lid off and check on what this bread looks like. It's not looking as bad as I thought it would, but it's got another 20 minutes in the oven. Okay, I just pulled it out of the oven. And are you guys ready for the big reveal? I don't think you are. I made a frisbee. <laughs> it's like actually a frisbee. It's, it's crispy and like very, very dense. I'm thinking of how I can use this and I'm thinking like maybe I can cut it into cubes and make croutons, sourdough croutons for like salad or maybe just like turn it into breadcrumbs for like breading other things but this is definitely not what I was expecting my first loaf to turn into. Um, I don't know what I did wrong but again we are trying again. I have an issue of previous hobbies where if I do something for the first time and it doesn't come out perfect, I get discouraged and I don't do it ever again. But for this little project, it's taken me so long to even get here. I feel like I have to try again until I get it right. So we're gonna try again. It does smell really good. It actually has a good texture. It makes like the crispy bread 
crackling sound. I'm gonna wait till it cools to cut it into it to cut into it and see what it looks like. But I imagine it's very dense. All right, just kidding. I am too impatient to wait for it to cool. It's actually burning my hand right now. But um, that's what it looks like. Very dense, very spongy. It's got some of like the little holes, but it was definitely not done properly somehow. It actually doesn't look that bad on the inside and you're not supposed to cut bread while it's hot because it gives it like a gummy texture because it's still like cooking when you take it out of the oven from what I've heard from bread TikTok. But yeah, I wanted to see like more of this and less of this. Update on the bread saga. I am trying again. That last loaf I think was overproofed. I watched some sourdough fail videos on TikTok and this one girl had really flat loaves and she said she overproofed her dough, which I didn't think you could do because they said leave it on the counter for 24 hours and that's what I did. So this one is possibly underproofed, but let's see. This one was um, set to proof for like four or five hours. I don't exactly remember when I did this. So I already did the deep cut and then I added some designs because I want to start doing that too once I get good at this. But it looks like nice and bubbly. It's still like a dome shape and it was actually workable unlike the last one that I did. So I'm gonna throw this one in the oven and hope for the best. Okay, everybody, I have been baking literally all day, but I can proudly say I did it. I have an actual loaf of sourdough bread and my phone's gonna be going off because I texted everyone I know. But I even cut a little pattern into it. I tried to do some hearts, just testing it out. But I have an actual loaf of sourdough. I'm not even hungry, but like now I have a whole loaf of bread, so I'm so excited! I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush guys I'm finally gonna finish this video today it's been like a week in progress of me filming just mostly me baking stuff but today is so exciting because it is 70 degrees it's only like 9 a.m. in the morning which means it's gonna be like 78 later which means we get to go to one of my favorite places the dirt store we're gonna buy dirt and I'm gonna lay out some compost today and hopefully do all that before it's supposed to rain later but today is also the last day of Stella being five tomorrow is her sixth birthday I'm so excited we already bought her cake and cupcakes for her class and unfortunately she does have school on her birthday but I think that's also gonna be fun to have her class know that it's her birthday um, but five and I will decorate tomorrow I'll probably start a new video and film all that tomorrow you guys can see her cake and I'm just very very excited it's a fun week so we're gonna take her to school and then we're gonna go buy some dirt we made it to my happy place <laughs> Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush
school pickup. I dropped off the cupcakes with Stella's teacher for tomorrow. I'm very, very excited for her to have her little class party. It's not really a party, they're just gonna have a treat. I'm making them dinner. This is the last time I'm making dinner for my five-year-old until five old is five. So it's like cute when you're a parent and every little thing is suddenly sentimental. But I'm just making them popcorn shrimp, like something super easy. Plus, that's a new food that I have learned that they have both like that they both like because it's breaded. So popcorn shrimp versus chicken nuggets. I'm gonna keep going with popcorn shrimp for now until they realize that it's not chicken they're eating. But I wanted to share something really quick before we say goodbye, and that is if you don't have a friend like my friend Mackenzie, you need one in your life. So she actually asks me before every birthday or holiday, what do your kids actually want? What do you actually need? What will actually be helpful for you? Sometimes she'll send like a DoorDash gift card so I can buy us dinner, or she'll just, you know, be very thoughtful with her gifts. Some people just buy like the messiest toy that they think looks fun, not even knowing like whether or not it's something your kids are into. And of course you're grateful for it, but you're like less grateful when you have to clean up a thousand puzzle pieces for your kids who don't know how to do puzzles yet. So Mackenzie asked what Stella really likes right now and Stella loves Pop-Tarts. I can say this because she's in her room right now because she doesn't want to watch Blippi, but she said, so many pop tarts and how satisfying is it that it all fits in the box so perfectly that's gonna be enough pop tarts at least for the next week um i'm kidding but honestly if i let the kids eat pop tarts for every meal they would but i'm just super grateful for that i thought that was a very nice gift stella is going to be overjoyed i am going to be wrapping them and she's going to be thrilled when she opens boxes of pop tarts so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be filming the birthday video tomorrow. I'm not sure when it will actually go up, but thank you guys for watching. Some of you have been watching since Stella was an actual baby before she was even one. So you've been watching for about six years now. So thank you for sticking around for that long. Um, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one.